Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to add transitions to videos in Shotcut. So if you have two or more clips and you would like to add some cool transitions between them, today you're going to learn how to do it. So let's start. Once we open Shotcut, we will see a screen as you see right now. So over here we have a projects folder, so in this folder all of your projects will be saved. Below over here you need to type in the name of the current project. I'm going to call it video 12. And then below here we have video mode, so over here you can choose the resolution and frames per second. If you leave it as automatic, it will be automatically imported from the first clip you will import to your project. Once you set it up, click start. And now two important things. First of all, make sure you are on editing tab. Second of all, over here in view, make sure that all of this is selected. Because in the future, if I will mention timeline and you won't be able to see timeline, that means that you didn't turn it on over here. And now let's move to the next step, which is importing our clips to shortcut. In order to do that, make sure that you are on playlist tab over here. Then open folder where you have your video clips. As you can see, I have video clips here. So I'm just going to select these two and then simply drag them over here to the playlist. They should be automatically imported and one of them should be visible on the preview. Once you do this, down here, make sure you are on timeline and drag the first clip over here to timeline. This should import it over here and add video one track. We can zoom in and zoom out over here by holding control and using scroll on the mouse. So let me zoom out like this and let me cut out some parts of this video. So I'm going to cut out the beginning. So my clip will be around 10 seconds maybe. And then I'm going to cut out the later part by clicking O and moving it to the front. So once we added the first clip, we can do the same with the second one. So I'm just going to drag it over here and then move it so it will start as soon as the first clip ends. And right now the transition is simply cut out from one video to another. And now let me show you how to change that. In order to change that, all we need to do is click on this uh, second clip and then slowly move it to the left side. As you can see above, there is a time, which means how long the transition will last. So if it's five, that means it's five seconds. If I move it over here, the transition will be three seconds long. So let me change it to five seconds, just like this, and then release the left mouse button. And as soon as we did this, as you can see over here, the square with uh, triangles inside was added. And that means there is transition added. So by default, transition looks like this. It will slowly fade in from one to another. So this is the default transition. And don't worry if it lags on the preview, this is normal. Once we export the video, it will be smooth and without any lags. So now, if we want to change this transition, all we need to do is click on it, then right click and choose properties. Once you do this, over here you will see some settings. So over here next to the video, you can choose different types of transitions. So for example, if I choose bar horizontal, let me show you how it's gonna look it's going to move from the left all the way to the right side, as you can see right now. Another thing we can adjust is invert wipe. That means it will go in the totally opposite direction. So at the moment it is going from left to right. If I select this option here, it should go from the right, as we can see, to the left. So this is another way of adjusting our transitions. So over here you can choose any transitions you like. Uh, let's see, for example, a barn door vertical. So let's see how it's gonna look. This will move from the center to the outwards. Or we can uh, choose it to be diagonal. So let's see how this one will look like. This would go from the center and spreading outwards. So once we are on this screen over here, let me show you another setting that we can change. And that setting is softness. So over here, we can adjust the softness, which means if the softness is zero, the edges of the transitions are very sharp. So that means uh, the softness is basically a blur of the edges. So you can increase it or decrease it. 
And of course you can also change the invert wipe. Right now it's going from the center to the outwards. If we change it, it will go from the outward diagonally into the center. So let's see how this one looks. It should go slowly from the edges until it gets to the center, just like you saw right now. So this is how you can add a basic transitions that are built in in Shotcut. Now let me show you how to add custom transitions. As you can see at the bottom, there is custom. So all we need to do is click over here and then find the folder where we downloaded custom transitions that we found on the internet. And then simply double click on the transition you would like to add. And now when we play this clip, it should already have this new transition. As you can see, it's squares showing up. It's a little bit laggy and difficult to see, uh, but this is basically the custom transition. And of course, once you export it, it will all be smooth. Now, if you want to add different transition, you would also go to custom, to the folder where you downloaded it, and then go over here by clicking two times. And my transition was added, so let's see how it looks. As we see, it's not perfect because it's jumping from one screen to another and then wiping it all out again. So in order to fix that, all we need to do is click over here on invert. So now once we fix the transition, as you see, it basically looks like we're painting with one clip over another. So this is another way of adding cool custom transitions. And I'm going to put some links to custom transitions in the description of the video or in the comments. So make sure to check it out if you're looking for some cool transitions. And now let's move to the next step, which is exporting our video. In order to do that, hit on export. On the left side, choose H.264 main profile, click export file, write the name, choose the folder and click save. Once you do this on the right side, under the jobs, you should see that our task is being exported. And once it's exported, I'm going to show you how the final clip looks like. So as you can see, our clip is playing at the moment and in a second we will see the transition as you saw right now. So this is how you can add any transition to your video clips in Shotcut. Please let me know in the comments if you managed to do that and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.